Come on in the room, honey. I have a message for you. And I'm so excited to share it with you. Um, for those who don't know, I am Tiara Chardé. I am a spiritual mentor, certified master life coach, oracle priestess, ordained minister, author, CEO, and founder of the Embodying the Goddess Transformation Program, as well as the Pussy Portal Program, which is enrolling right now. We start February 22nd. Get in where you fit in, priestess, okay? I'm here with a message for you all. I'm going to pull some cards. It's been a while since we um, actually pulled any of the um, divination tools that we have at our disposal. So I decided that I was going to do that um, for this message. Okay. So really quick, y'all know how I do it. I give you the channeled messages and then I get into the cards, right? So what's really coming in is somebody is hiding their gift <laughs> and I'm just going to bust out with it. Somebody is hiding their gift their magic, their divine, sacred essence. And it's really a tragedy, okay? It's a tra tragedy and a travesty, okay? It's something that is, um, you know, it's being greatly mourned by so many people is what I'm getting right now. Like your ancestors and guides are really sad because, they, you know, they've passed down wisdom and magic, literal magic for you to tap into when you're not. And then you also have people who you're meant to be guiding right now, they're really upset, they're really sad because they cannot find you, they cannot book services with you, and they're wondering what's going on, okay? So I was really tapping into that. Somebody's spiritual gifts is actually tied to so many different things and so many different people. So um, like, for example, your gift of prophecy, you're needing to say what you see. And in doing so, you actually connect the dots for other prophets and oracles. You actually, wow, I'm getting so much right now. For some of you, this is galactic, like intergalactic or something. You sharing your gift of prophecy is actually being broadcast to other galaxies and dimensions. Holy shit. Okay, because I know that to be true. I just didn't expect that to come in right now. So I'm kind of like, all right, y'all, slow down. <laughs> I need y'all to slow down with me because I see where this is going, all right? Okay, okay. It's like you are on a big-ass stage or you are on the largest flat-screen TV known to men and people from this time and space as well as other time and space they're tuning into you <laughs> no pressure no pressure right but they're literally um tuning into you and they're watching you and they're rooting for you you have some who are really upset that you've been chosen and selected for a certain uh role a certain path like other beings they're really mad i feel like you know this already but you have a lot more, a lot more who are rooting for you, who literally have the pom-poms out, who have the signs up like at the airport and they're like, yes, we're here for him. We're here for her. We love her. Yes. You literally have that coming in. And I feel like many of you, you could be um, juggling many different things right now, right? A lot is on your plate right now. I totally get it. You got the craziness going on in the world. Family dynamics are needing to be healed and brought together and recalibrated, I just heard. Um, you know, your career and your work, things are coming up. Be mindful of the distractions, right? We mentioned that in the last video. Be mindful of the distractions. But also, the divine wants you to take some things off of your plate. I feel like you got too much on your plate, okay? You got the gravy mixed in with the, with the cranberry sauce. Ugh, you got the you got this over here mixing with that and it's just not cute it's not pretty and the divine is saying it's too much you got too much going on or you're too accessible or you're worried too much about the wrong things there's just something that is too much um but i feel like for many of you these things are going to be taken off your plate or there's one thing that you're doing that's gonna like 
take precedence over the rest of the things. Okay? So I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, maybe you're an accountant and then after work you go to your, your business. For one of you, those things are going to have to um, be cleared. One of them is going to stand out, but then I feel like you could bring the other things into it. So I don't know if you're creating like an umbrella type corporation. Wow. Okay. Okay. Damn. Okay, let's stop there. Let's 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 kind of segue cuz I see here. Um Umbrella Corporation. Many of you know that's from the movie Resident Evil. And okay, so we're going to have some of that showing up in our time and space. And that's just what's coming through right now. Damn. We're going to have some of that where people are kind of like, not really alive, <laughs> but not dead either. Okay, look, you're, you're going to have that. And I'm really surprised that this is coming in right now because I was so sure that... <laughs> of the message that they wanted me to say. And I still am, but I see how um, this is coming in, huh? Okay. Well, you're going, someone out there who resonates with this, you're rising to leadership in a time where there's a lot of people who are half alive and half not. And you're also tapping into the other realms. You're tapping into the underworld and the astral realm and the cosmos in order for you to reign in a particular position that you're being called to. You're going to have a lot more access or you've been noticing that you have a lot more access or there's just a flood of more information coming into you. And it's because of that reason. A lot of things on the planet are going to shift at this time. Okay? A lot of things. And I feel like it's imperative for you to get in now. That's what I'm hearing. Get in now. It's imperative for you to make yourself known now. Okay? This resonates with somebody. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I feel you know. <laughs> I literally feel you Connect the dots and say, yes, Tierra, I know what you're talking about. Heard you. I literally feel that inside of me. You know exactly what I'm saying right now. Wow. Okay. Your destiny is calling. Your destiny is calling in a way that is just, it is loud. It is so loud and it cannot be interrupted. You cannot be knocked off path right now, y'all. Um, I apologize if it's kind of glitchy on the screen. Um, you cannot be knocked off your path right now. It is just, you are set. Okay? You are set. You are set where you need to be. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what is happening right now. I think it's a, just a lot of energy that is moving around right now. So I hope that I can share this message with you that I don't have to start over because, wow, it's just a lot. Um, you cannot be knocked off path. It, you're locked in. It's, you're, yeah, you're locked in. And you're rising. You're rising as someone who is very, very powerful, very, very chosen, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. No one, nothing and no one can stop you. Not even, you know, people in the shadows, right? Energies and entities in the shadows running things, they can't stop you either. And they're really afraid. So I do want to say, make sure you stay in a space of courage and assertiveness. Be the authority right now. Don't allow yourself to be scared in this season. Because you're a leader, you're a guide, you've literally been in training your whole life to take on this role. I don't know what role it is um, of a speaker, a teacher, an ascended master, right? That's been coming up in a lot of videos we did, right? Um, you're a guide. And in the message I shared with you last night, you're literally at the front lines. You've been chosen. And um, you've been chosen because you're built that tough to handle what's coming and what what's um, where you're being guided to. Okay, so 
look at this. I knew something told me to look at the bottom. So we have birth charts and astrology. Yes, I'm so happy this came up. Y'all, I've been talking about um, your birth chart and astrology since you met me. Literally since the first video I ever posted here on YouTube, I've been talking about that because that helped me crack the code. It's literally why I'm here in front of you right now is because I studied my birth chart, I studied astrology, I studied human design, I studied gene keys, right? So someone is needing to tap into your birth chart, especially now we're hitting North Node Taurus, South Node Scorpio, we're moving into a big, big time in our evolution, in our history, history, honey. We're moving into that. The divine feminine is coming online. I actually wrote down another message that was channeling through to me um, about the birth charts. So I'm actually going to do that in a separate message. So definitely study that. Look up where your Scorpio and Taurus are placed in your birth chart. Look up your North Node and your South Node as well as your Midheaven. Okay. All of that is playing out right now and it's very important for you to know because it's going to help you see who you are in this whole big picture, okay? And then at the bottom we have ancestral veneration. It's like I was saying, somebody's ancestors are really rooting for you and they're calling you forward to do this. I feel like your birth chart will map out that as well. You also have an ancestor who knew your birth chart and I'm getting goosebumps right now. They knew your birth chart. They knew it was prophecy I'm hearing. Wow, you guys are loud. Thank you. It was prophecy, your birth. Your ancestors knew you were coming. And I feel like, yeah, your far back ancestors, but also like your the generations that are one, two, three behind your birth. One, two, three. I got it just like that. I didn't get three generations back. I got one, two, three generations back. So that's something significant to somebody. Maybe the ascending order is significant or maybe the number sequence or something like that is significant to you. Those numbers, you could be a life path number one, two, or three or whatever it is. But um, you've had recent ancestors even knowing that you were going to be born in this time and that you would be needing certain gifts and um, certain abilities to be able to navigate what's, what's coming through for you. Whoa. Listen, <laughs> I already know who you are, okay? I already know how powerful and how amazing you are. Okay, so this is not news to me. I know you're chosen. You're a magnificent, okay? It's just the energy of it is just, is wow, okay? It's wow. And that's, that could be why you're holding back. All of that energy you're feeling inside of you. Shout out to those who read the book, The Pussy Portal Healing with Pleasure. I literally talk about that, being able to perceive all of that inside of you. So I feel like I'm talking to Soul Tribe right now. Like, I, I promise I am. I promise I'm talking to people who come from the same place or have the sim a similar mission. Warrior angels. Oh my goodness. You're a warrior angel. You're tapped in. And look at the bottom of the deck, we, deck, we have the oracle. What did I say? Uh, this is incredible. You're tapped into um, warrior angels and ascended masters and those who operate at the highest, highest frequencies and, and realms. You're, co you're connected to the galactic teams and the celestials. Look, you literally have rainbows right behind it. That was right behind uh, the oracle. Rainbows. You could be seeing rainbows and if you do see rainbows right now, it's um, communication with your star family, okay? It's not just, ooh, a rainbow because, you know, the sunshine is shining through water and it creates a rainbow. Uh-uh, nah. Don't believe the hype. It's a rainbow because it's literally cosmic communication with you. And, and, and energies are coming through, messages are coming through, and you're needing to share the messages. Somebody is literally ordained and ordered, I heard. It's an order. 
whoa, that you walk this path or you carry this torch. It's been written, y'all. This is something that's been written. I knew this message was gonna be a banger. <laughs> I knew they was coming with that heat on this one. I just felt it. I was like, baby, let me hit record. I don't care how I look. I'm hitting record right now. All right, so um, it's actually, it has me really excited. This message, I feel it. And I'm grounded, I'm meditated and everything, y'all. It's just, it's just a captivating energy. I feel like you're captivating. You're captivating. You're like a magnet. I feel like something turned over. Again, rainbows, rainbows turned over. It was at the bottom of the deck and now it turned over. Somebody is definitely needing to wear more colors. You're needing to communicate. We have within three to six months. So, you know, I did say the number three. Three is significant. Within three to six months, you're going to see a rainbow. It's literally going to be a pot of gold under that rainbow. And we have earth angels are protecting you. Look at this, y'all. That's what I'm saying. Please have courage in this time and space. Please flex that throat chakra. Speak up. Get in front of the camera. Write that book. Write that script. Upload those photos. You are being protected. Like I said, can't nothing knock you off your path right now. The protection here is almost scary how it feels. Like if you can see all the people things, energies, and beings that are protecting you right now, you'd probably pass out because it's an overwhelming amount of protection, which lets me know who you are and that it lets me know, okay, we really are moving into this season where the chosen need the protection because they're being called to speak. They're being activated to share. And they can do so without being stressed out and being worried. Like in the past, I feel like you were worried about the persecution. In the past, you were needy and codependent. Not anymore. For whoever resonates with this, you're not that anymore. You've been liberated from this, okay? You've been liberated. You've been healed. And I feel like you're taking control of your path. The divine wants you to take control of your path. Be the authority, okay? Woo, that's a lot, that's a lot. We have, oh, hang on, let me put the cards down so I don't bend them. We have, oh shit, you went viral and I'm salty as fuck. So somebody is really rising. You're rising right now and there's nothing anybody could do about it. I'm A whole stack fell out, y'all. So we have the pussy portal. Shout out to the Pussy Portal program. We're enrolling right now. February 22nd is when we start. And the program is for the priestesses. It's for the women who hear the call. You just may not be supported or you don't have any resources. Nobody in your life is talking about this. So you're just like on an island alone. I am here to tell you you are not alone. We share a similar purpose. We share a similar path. And the portal um, is, is for you. You need to tap in, right? The portal is for the oracles. It's for the priestesses. It's for those who have like an incredible birth chart. Your birth chart, oh my God, like don't get me started. I be wanting to get my hands on birth charts because it's like, I, I just need the paperwork to what I feel sometimes, right? I've been talking about the energy of the North Node Taurus, South Node Scorpio for like two years. And now that the energy is here, I'm like, I told you, I knew it, I knew it. So some of you, it's the same thing. Um, and if you get excited about astrology and birth charts and mystical, magical shit like me, then I know your soul tribe. So you ain't even gotta, <laughs> you gotta say nothing. Integrity. Now is the time to have integrity. It's not just how you treat people and things. It's also how you treat yourself. How are you handling this role that you've been given? Are you um, rising to the occasion? Are you taking responsibility? Many people think that being a priestess is cute and it comes with a nice head wrap, but really you're in spiritual war most of the time, <laughs> right? You're helping to liberate souls. You're in prayer and meditation most of the day. You're in front of your altar. You're creating. You're tapped into the, 
to the celestial realms. You you be on a call with the warrior angels in them. And you also are on calls with the warrior angels and gods and goddesses who are here right now in physical form. So it's a lot of communication and it's a lot of leadership. So you're being called for that. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look. I prayed for you. Remember how I said somebody's ancestors literally were hoping for you and they knew it was prophesied that you would be coming in a time just like this. Y'all, come on, tap into this message. Claim this message, leave a comment. Claim this message if you are rising, if you are chosen, if you are the priestess, if you are the healer of generations. Y'all, I feel like, like, ah! Uh, this energy is amazing. I'm, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. We have, I defend you. Like I said, y'all, you are protected. You are safe. Look how this message is just unfolding. I defend you. Earth angels are protecting you. Warrior angels we have here, okay? You, you're safe to move forward in your calling. You're safe. Black Moon Lilith. I feel like we're moving out of the time of like the Black Moon Lilith as in operating from the shadows and getting all of that right because I really feel like Black Moon Lilith deals with the shadow self and the other parts of you that um, are needing to be um, highlighted and come to the forefront but also addressed and buried, right? Some things. But we're moving into a time of North Node Taurus and South Node Scorpio. So we still have the Scorpionic energy. We still have the unseen and the underworld and dreams and psychic gifts coming to the forefront. But we're also bringing in new awarenesses and stability and compassion and connecting with the planet Venus. Venus is huge right now and Venus rules uh, Taurus. So... All of this energy is just so tied and it's insane right now. Will you marry me? For some of you, this literally means being married to the purpose. Married to mother, father, God. Saying and claiming that this is what I am going to do. I fully accept the role that I am here to perform. Okay, that's for somebody, and like I've been saying for the rest of these videos, somebody is absolutely going to come in contact with their um, divine counterpart because you're needing to complete the next phase of a mission, right? You're needing to act out the next few scenes of this film. Okay, this energy is wild. <laughs> this energy is wild. And we have self-pleasure. And it's amazing, y'all. We have the pussy portal out and we have self-pleasure. So what's interesting, right, that also ties into the North Node Taurus, South Node Scorpio, because it is that connection from the heart as well as from the solar, um, excuse me, the sacral and the root. So it's bringing the heart and the um, sacral together. It's bringing love and it's bring sexuality and sensuality together, which is literally what the pussy portal is, as well as bringing in your spiritual connection, your divinity, right? Your connection to the ancestral realms, your connection to your spirituality and your spiritual gifts. That's what this time is bringing in. So, you know, man. It's so amazing. I, I'm ahead of my time in so many different ways. And it is because of the conversations I have <laughs> with the other realms. Because they, they've they literally prepared me to bring forward a work such as this in a time such as right now. It's, it's imperative, y'all. This is so prophetic. And your path is prophetic. Your path is prophetic, okay? So... That is the message, y'all. I don't even know what to title this because it was just so much coming through. I'm definitely going to come back with more messages. It's just a lot coming in. I have like a whole page that I need to share of just like channeled messages. But um, please tap into this message. Claim this message. Give it a thumbs up. 
Say I claim it. Say I shay in the comment section. Let me see you, chosen ones, your soul tribe, and I love you. I am rooting for you. I support you, okay? Um, and if you need to contact me, make sure you click on the esoteric shop linked in the description box. I do birth charts. I do soul's purpose and destiny. I do North Node and South Node. I also do birth chart protection. I also do human design. Okay, I've been teaching a lot of women and telling a lot of people about human design and how to tap in and you need to know who you are. Your whole blueprint, right? Somebody is needing to know who they are. You need the paperwork. Okay, so tap in. And again, the Pussy Portal program starts February 22nd. We are enrolling right now and I'll see you on the next video. Peace and love.